Winslow, Meselonski at Waterville, Gardner at home tonight against Morse. Belfast is hosting Mount View. Nokomis will travel to MDI. That should be a great matchup down on the island. Nokomis, a great team in Class A, and of course MDI, the defending State B champions. That should be a barn burner down in Mount Desert Island. Old Town will travel to play Baft at the Auditorium. It's Stearns hosting Penobscot Valley. Oak Hill is hosting Rockland. Skowhegan will travel to Mount Blue. And Searsport is home tonight against Sumner. Both of our teams tonight, Hamden and Bangor, uh, lost a lot to graduation. Uh, a lot of youth on both of these basketball teams, especially for Hamden, where they will uh, have four seniors on the team, one junior, six sophomore, and one freshman. And that freshman is Jordan Cook. He is about 6'9". He is the son of Paul Cook, who is from Lubeck. I remember refereeing soccer many years ago when Paul played, and of course he went on to play basketball at the University of Maine, and uh, from all intents and purposes and all accounts, uh, Jordan Cook is a very fine young basketball player, a little bit inexperienced, but has all the tools, and according to Roger Reed, Bangor will have to find a way to defend him tonight, as the Rams are not uh, a very big basketball team. They're about 6'2", 6'3", in the front line, and they will have to contend with young Mr. Cook tonight, and I think if he get off to a good start, gain some confidence, he could be uh, a real problem for the Rams tonight. On the Bangor side of the ledger, they have six seniors, five juniors, and four sophomores, of course, coached by Roger Reed. Five state championships under their belt. They're no strangers to uh, quality competition and to the tournament as well. And they have the program in the Bangor area. Highly respected program. Roger Reed has been a very successful basketball coach going all the way back to the late 70s and early 80s when he was at Bangor Christian. And he has certainly proved himself in the Class A ranks. Let's take a look at the uh, starting lineups for tonight's basketball game. First of all, for Bangor, we expect to see Rob Flynn. He is a, uh, find my Bangor roster here. Flynn is a senior forward, about 6'2". In the middle, we'll see Matt Cassidy. He's a junior forward at about 6'3". And then uh, Bangor will go with a three-guard offense. Of course, their best ball player by all counts is Zach Ray. He's a senior guard. And Nick Acorn will also play guard. Apparently, he was the kicker on the football team. And uh, the other starter will uh, most likely be uh, Wesley Day, who played for John Baps last year. And, of course, this year is playing at Bangor, so that certainly will help the Rams' chances as the season goes on. We expect to see Bangor always uh, 9 or 10 deep. Uh, we'll see action from Jordan Heath at guard. He's a sophomore. Also, Aaron Gallant, he's a sophomore guard. Expect to see Mike Prentice, the guard who's a junior on the floor. And up front, the uh, bench strength will come from Kevin Flynn. He's a 6'4 uh, junior. And Tyler Weymouth is a senior forward at 6'3. On the Hamden side of the roster, we expect to see uh, Hamden go 7, 8, 9 deep tonight. Uh, certainly, Jordan Cook will probably start in the middle at the center. The forwards, we expect to see a lot of action from Pat Moran and Kyle Dalton. Moran is a sophomore forward, and Dalton is a senior. And in the backcourt, we'll see a lot of action from Ben Keller and Blaine Meehan. Keller is a uh, sophomore guard, and Meehan is also a sophomore. So they'll put uh, a freshman, two sophomores, a junior, and a senior on the floor a lot. And then we'll uh, see uh, action from Ken Mayo and Ryan Bennett off the bench. Bennett is a senior forward, and uh, Mayo is a junior forward. And uh, maybe some action from Bill Shannon, Nate Bacon. Uh, Hampton only has 12 in the varsity team, so most likely they might play everybody tonight. Taking a look at our upcoming broadcast schedule here on the Interscholastic Sports Network. By the way, if you're tuning in tonight, the Interscholastic Sports Network is comprised of WBGR Channel 33 Television. That's cable channel 9 in the Bangor area. And uh, it's also WHCF, who I am the uh, general manager of, 88.5 FM, along with WHMX, our sister station, at 105.7. And our video production tonight done by Morris Brown, a good friend from way back in Woodland many years ago. And he owns his own video production company. He is supplying all the video production tonight. So taking a look at our upcoming action, 
Our next broadcast will be Monday, December 16th. That will be a simulcast on WHCF 88.5 FM and WBGR Channel 33 Television. WHCF will bring the game live at 7 o'clock at Terminant Orono, the girls' game, and it will be taped late on WBGR and aired the same night of the game at 10 o'clock, and that will be a standard broadcast time for all of the television broadcast, 10 o'clock the evening of the game, and it will be repeated on the weekends as well, most likely on Sunday afternoons at 1 o'clock. On Wednesday, December 18th, the Scatacus Community High School of Guilford will host Matanoctic Academy of Lincoln. That will be our first broadcast of the season on WHMX. That's 105.7. That game time is 7 o'clock. Then on Thursday night, the 19th, we'll have Brewer at Hamden, boys, right back here in Hamden. That game on WBGR television only at 10 o'clock next Thursday night. And then the following night, the girls will go at it. Brewer will come here to Hamden to play the girls. That will be a simulcast on WHCF at 7 o'clock live on the radio at 88.5 FM and a television broadcast on WBGR tape delayed. That'll be aired at 10 p.m. We have uh, 38 games on the schedule during the season. 25 are on television. Half of those are simulcast with WHCF. WHCF will also carry six other games on its own, half of those during the Christmas break. And then uh, WHMX will also broadcast seven games as well. Now the starting lineups for the Bangor Rams. Starting guard, Nick Acorn. He'll go number 12 tonight for the Rams. Zach Ray, the off guard, he's a great shooter. He wears number 14. Wesley Day, the transfer from BAPS, will play one forward position. He wears number 24. His first game in a Bangor uniform. That's right, that's right. Rob Flynn, the other forward, wears number 50. And in the middle, Matt Cassidy. And of course, Bangor will go nine or 10 deep easily in this ball game. You'll see a lot of Rams on the floor. Expect to see uh, Roger try to force an up-tempo game if he can, especially get the big man for Hamden to have to run the full court. Ben Keller will start at one guard position for Hamden. He wears number 15. George Cook will start at center for Hamden. He wears number 50. Kyle Dalton, he's six foot three. The other forward is Pat Moran, where's number 42. And Bill Shannon will be the other starter at guard. And he wears number 14. We have three officials for tonight's game. Mr. Marquis, Mr. Harmon, and uh, Mr. Barry. Three officials tonight. And right now from Hampton Academy, our national anthem played by the Hampton Academy Band. Reasonable crowd on hand tonight for the opening of the Class A season here at Hamden Academy. The JV game was won by Bangor, 63 to 54.
Both teams come on the floor. Of course, uh, Bangor in their cardinal red uniforms with a white trim, and Hamden Academy in their white uniforms with the purple trim. Hamden Academy will be going from right to left on your television screen. And of course, Bangor High, coached by Roger, will be going in the other direction. And uh, Andy Price, of course, the coach of Hamden Academy. Hard to believe that Cook is just a freshman. Wow. He's got a lot of growing yet to do by the looks of those sneakers. So we're set to go with the first game in Class A, and the tip is controlled by Bank by Hamden Academy. Shannon will run the offense. Bangor, of course, will play man-to-man -man the entire ball game. Playing a tight man-to-man -man right now. They'll put pressure on the ball. Here's the pass inside, stolen by Ray. He'll bring it up across the timeline, dribbles down the right side, goes to the glass, up, around, and off. No good. The rebound tip controlled by Bangor, put up and in on the rebounding follow-up there by number 50, Rob Flynn. So he gets the first basket of the ball game, and Bangor leads 2-0. Shannon in the front court. Off to Dalton. Drives to the key. Wants to shoot, and he's fouled on the way to the basket. That foul was on number 50, Rob Flynn of Bangor. And going to the line is Kyle Dalton, a 6-3 forward. So Hamden definitely has a size advantage up front. First one is on the way, and it rattles in and out. And now I get the second. And this one's no good. The rebound is laid to Hamden. Taken there by Keller. Cross court now to Shannon. Right side to Dalton, puts up the three. That's short. The rebound taken by Hamden. That's Shannon in the corner with it. Now out to Dalton on the wing. Inside for Cook. Turns, takes the fall away, and hits. Finally punch it through. They tried to go inside the first two times. Good intercepted and fouled. Here's a long three from the left side. Is good. That basket there by number 24, Wesley Day. So Day scores his first basket. And it's a 5-2 lead for Bangor. First basket of the Rams. Here's Cook, left side. Looks inside, now gives it off to Moran and out front to Keller. Works the right side to Dalton, drives the baseline in the corner, takes the 10 footer, it's around and out. The rebound inside, taken by Flynn of Bangor. Off to Ray, and he'll bring it up. Long down, cut pass, back door down low for Cassidy, and he's blocked by Cook out of bounds. Nice block by Jordan Cook. Pinned it right against the backboard. So the Rams will put it in play. Really tough to get around that kind of height. Sure as it comes in, bounce Cassidy from the corner, and it's good. 7-2 lead now by Bangor. 6-13 remaining here in the opening period. Bounce pass in the corner for Moran. Bounce pass inside underneath. Dalton is alone, puts it up and in. Here's Ray, right side to Acorn. He'll fire a three. It's no good. The weak side rebound to Hamden. Outlet pass quickly to Shannon. Across the timeline. Works the right side now to Dalton. Out top to Keller. He'll shoot from the side of the key. It's no good. The rebound inside to Bangor. And Flynn has another rebound. Off to Ray. Top of the key. Dribbles to the side of the key. Gives it off to Acorn. He'll put up a three, and he drains it. 10-4, an early six-point lead for the Rams coming down near the five-minute mark in the first period. Here's Dalton on the left side. Looking inside. Now dribbles toward the basket. Goes down the lane, puts it up and in. Ray on the right side. Acorn, he'll fire a three again. It's short. The rebound inside. Lost on the floor. Picked up, and now a whistle in backcourt. And a foul. Foul was on Bangor. We'll wait and see who it's on. It was on Cassidy. That's his first. Three team fouls on Bangor. None on Hamden. Full court pressure now by the Rams. Keller gives it off to Dalton. Almost lost it. Now picks it up. He's still in backcourt. Going to have to hurry here. Still in backcourt. Keller now gets it over to Dalton as they break the timeline. Pass down backdoor to Cook. Now out on the wing to 
Shannon. Gives it off to Moran. And now Whistle and a double dribble on Moran. Four thirty-nine remaining in this first period. Rams on top of the Broncos, ten to six. Ray walks it up. It's a two-one-two zone. He'll fire a long three. It's no good. Rebound in the corner to Bangor. Acorn gets it out on the wing. Now they skip it out to Ray. Bounce pass left side. Flynn is open for the fifteen-footer, and it's good. Bangor hitting from the outside in the early going. Hamden seems to be pretty content to run the half-court offense and set it up down low. Here's Shannon on the right to Cook. Inside, a whistle underneath and a foul on Bangor. That'll be on number 24, Wesley Day. Substitution's coming in for Bangor. We'll pick him up as we go along. In the ball game is Jordan Heath, number 10. 44 is Kevin Flynn. And 14, uh, well, here's the ball in bounds. It goes to Cook, and he puts it up and in. So Jordan Cook with a basket. 12-8, your score. Rams lead by four. Here's Heath. Out top to Ray. Left side, they swing it to Day. Bango being patient, working the perimeter. To the foul line. Now they kick it outside. Here's a long three by Heath. A short. The rebound is lost out of bounds, and it belongs to Hamden. Three forty-one to go here in the first period. Bango with some full court pressure. Shannon deep in backcourt. Try to bring it up against Heath. Now breaks the timeline. Got to be careful that uh, five-second call gets it over now to Dalton on the right side. In the corner. Dribbling baseline as Keller puts it up off the glass and in. So Hamden closes to within two as we near the three-minute mark in this first period. Hamden now in a 2-3 zone. Heath on the right side. Out top to Ray. Back to Heath. Left side now to Day. In the corner, there's the shot from the baseline. is good by Kevin Flynn. So Flynn with his first basket. It's 14-10. Bangor's really spread out. They got uh, five players on the board. Including both Flynn's. Hamden breaks the press. Keller brings it down baseline and a whistle underneath and a foul on a push off on Bangor. The foul was on Wesley Day. No correction, make that P.J. Dow is the third player from Bangor that came in the ball game. Day reports out. And Aaron Gallant in the ball game. Here's the pass inside. Down low, back door for Cook. He puts it up and in. Nice pass there from Pat Moran. And it's 14-12. Rams on top by two. Cook has looked pretty sharp in the first game. Six yes, points on the block. Bangor working the corners and outside. Not, haven't gotten into the paint. Here's Ray from the foul line. It's good. Because if you shoot like that from the outside, you don't have to worry about getting the ball down low. Tough to get in the paint with Cook right there. Here comes Dalton across the timeline, dribbles to the flame, passes down low back door to Moran, puts it up and in. 16-14. Here's Heath, left side to Gallant. And they swing it around the right side to Heath in the corner for Flynn. Out top to Ray, left side. Bangor being very patient on offense, working the perimeter. Here's Heath from the right side for a three. It's around and out, the weak side rebound battle for Rambleford picked up and tied up, and possession belongs to Bangor. 147 to go in the first. Rams will inbound it. Comes in the corner to Ray. He'll fire a long bomb. It's no good. Weak side rebound to Moran, and he walked with a basketball. And kept, kept it close after it uh, looked like Bangor was going to get a big lead. Here's a shot from the left side in and out. The rebound inside. Fall away taken is a rounded in by Dow. And that makes it 18 to 14. Shannon in backcourt against the press. Across the timeline. Being guarded closely. Gets rid of the basketball. Has it stripped and knocked out of bounds. And a foul in backcourt on Hamden on Ben Keller. 
And that's Hamden's first of the ball game. That was a good point. It remains to be seen, though, Chris, uh, late in the ball game, if Bangor can continue to hit from the outside without really working the ball down low against that Hamden zone. Hamden is getting the better shots right now, even though the Rams hold that four-point lead. Rams have been very patient, though. A lot of quick ball movement on offense. Here's Ray left side to Heath. Now they're swinging on the right side to Gallant. Takes the 10-footer. That's off the mark. The rebound inside. Put up and in off the glass nicely by Aaron Gallant. 2014 now. We're under a minute to go in this first period. Here's Dolphin in backcourt. Into front court. The ball is stolen by Bangle. They've got numbers. Long down court pass for Ray. Underneath puts it up and in. 22-14 now. Bango with their biggest lead of the ball game. 40 seconds to go here in the first. Full court pressure by the Rams. Broncos bring it into front court. Clayton Tunning the ball game. Passes down low for Moran. Outside now. Dalton wants to shoot but doesn't. Gets a pick. Dribbles to the right corner. And brings it out front now to Keller. 20 seconds to go. Hamden looking for one shot. Down to 12. Now they'll run their offense. Keller in the corner for Dolphin. He'll spot up, take the long three. That's off the mark. The rebound inside to Bangor. One second to go in the period, and that's the end of the first period. Your score is Bangor 22, Hamden 14. We'll be back for second period action right after this message. The emotional and psychological impact of trauma isn't unique to soldiers on the battlefield. We have all seen how the consequences of trauma also affect police, firefighters, rescue workers, all of us. For over 20 years, the Department of Veterans Affairs has been helping combat veterans cope with the psychological and emotional effects of trauma. We've learned that symptoms such as trouble sleeping, feelings of anxiety, and emotional distancing from loved ones are often normal reactions to traumatic events. If you would like more information, VA is ready to help. I encourage veterans to contact their local Department of Veterans Affairs Vet Center to learn more about coping with trauma-related stress. Veterans and non-veterans alike can also access this information by logging on to our website. VA, caring for America. Action resumes with Hamden with a basketball. Here's Moran on the left side. He'll take the 10-footer off the glass. No good. The rebound inside to Zach Ray. A moment ago, it was 16-14. Bangor's run up six straight. Here's Ray with a long three. Is good. And Bangor has opened up a double-digit lead at 25-14. to 14, And they are burning the cords from downtown right now. Nine straight points will do that for you. Here's a shot on the baseline by Keller. No good. Inside the rebound away to Flynn, who's back in there. Rob Flynn. I'll let pass the Heath. Bangor is working the perimeter. Here's Ray on the right side now. Hamden uh, still in that zone, and they've extended it up now. We've got a foul outside on Hamden. This is on Clayton Tunney. That's his first. Second team foul on Hamden. Ray on the inbounds in the corner. There's a shot from the baseline. Is no good by Heath. And the weak side rebound comes away to Hamden. Josh McNutt in the ball game for Hamden. He'll drive into the corner and he's fouled on the way to the basket. Fifth team foul on Bangor. It comes out deep to Tunney in the lane. The left-handed shot is no good, but he's fouled again. So he'll go to the line for two shots. That was the first foul on Tyler Weymouth, who is in the game now for Bangor. First free throw is good by Tunney. second. That's good as well. So he makes them both. And that drops the lead down to nine for Bangor. Now at 25 to 16. 
Heath. Left side. A long bomb from downtown. No good by Day. And a foul in the rebounding action underneath. And I believe it'll be on Bangor. If it is, we will walk the length of the floor. And the Broncos will have one and one. That should be the seventh foul. It is. That should be a one and one. And I think they just picked up on it. Or not. Well, maybe it was a player control foul. Offensive foul. In any event, no shots for the Broncos. They'll run the offense. Dalton has a tip loose. Gets it back in the corner. Goes baseline. Goes to the glass. Reverse layup. Up and in. Beautiful move by Kyle Dalton. Here's a long down court pass for Day. Goes to the glass. No good. The rebound inside. Battle four goes out of bounds. And it belongs to Hamden. Bangor's got seven fouls, but they spread them out. Um, the only guy who has more than one is Rob Flynn. 6.18 to go in the half. Rams lead by nine. Correction, make that seven. Tunney against the pressure. Gives it off to Dalton. Left side now to McNutt, and he's fouled on the way to the basket. The Rams are piling up the fouls right now. Well, I guess they're going to say this is an offensive foul. So the foul is on McNutt. Player control foul. That'll be the third team foul on Hamden. And the first foul on McNutt. Here's Ray, left side to Day. Dribbles to the foul line, takes the jump step, takes the jumper, no good. The rebound is taken in the corner by Hamden. And here they come. Four on three, left side goes to McNutt. He'll take the 15 footer and he's fouled. Two on West Day. First free throw is no good by McNutt. Day reports out for Bangor and Nick Acorn back in the ball game for the Rams. Now the second by McNutt, and it's off the back of the iron. The rebound inside to Bangor. Here comes Ray. Quickly into front court. Left side. There's a long bomb on the way by Heath. No good. The rebound tip. Controlled by Dalton. So Hamden doing a good job on the defensive boards. Hot quickly now to Tunney. Down low to Cook. In traffic. Turns. Puts it up and in. Cook's got eight. 25-20 now. It's back to five. It was 11. Here's Ray with a long bomb. That's surrounded off. The rebound inside and a foul. In the rebounding action. I think you're going to call it on Cook. That's a tough break for the youngster because he actually got the rebound up high and when the ball came down, it came down the other side of the player and he had his arms around him. So Bango will inbound the ball. Comes in at the blocks, turn around, and the fall away is in and out. And the rebound to Hamden. McNutt has the basketball for the Broncos. Off to Dalton. Top of the key. Dribbles to the foul line. Goes in the lane. Goes to the glass. And he's fouled on the way to the basket. I don't believe that will count. Broncos playing smart basketball to get back in this ball game after trailing by 11. Now they're trying to get the ball down inside on the drive. And they're drawing the fouls. And next time, they'll have two shots. Right now, they'll have two anyway, as Dalton was fouled in the act of shooting. But they'll have the two-shot bonus next time. Free throw is around and off, and the rebound is away to Bangor. So just a one-and-one one for the Broncos, and they don't convert. Ray, skip pass cross-court to Acorn in the corner to Gallant. Now down low back door. It's almost lost at about saved inbounds and taken by Hamden. And here come the Broncos. Dalton. Have you ever felt like starting over? With Jesus you can. 
If you'd like to begin a new life, pray this prayer from your heart. Dear God, you know everything about me. You know I've made mistakes. Please forgive me. Come into my life. Help me follow you always. In Jesus' name, amen. For prayer or information, call Bangor Baptist Church, 947-6576. Twenty-five, twenty-one. We're nearing the halfway point in the second period. Here's a shot from the corner. Is good by Aaron Gallant, providing some spark off the bench for the Rams. And it's back to six. Pressure now by Bangor. Some trouble up front. Dalton has it knocked away, and it goes out of bounds, and it belongs to Hamden. Pressure now, full court by the Rams. Tunney in backcourt, over to Dalton. Into the corner, passes off to uh, 24. That's Meehan in the ball game for the Broncos. Dalton with it, left side to Tunney, to the foul line, in the lane, and a whistle and a foul on the drive. First one, Jordan Heath. At the line is Tunney. First one is no good. And right now the Broncos are not taking advantage of the free throw line that Bangor's given to them. A little early Christmas present here. And they are not doing well from the strike. Here's the second one. That's good. 27-22, 3.35 to go in the half. Left side, a long bomb by Gallant is good again. And that's going to be a two or a three. The only signal two, I guess. He was on the line. Seven-point lead for the Rams. Pressure out front by Bangor. Dalton, left side of the key. Down low. Backdoor pass, a whistle, and that should be an offensive foul, I bet you. We're going to wait and see what the call is. It is on Dalton on the charge. His first. Talking about free throw problems for hand and they're four for 11. They just made half more of those. This game will be a lot closer. It's a seven point lead right now for the Rams as we're inching down toward the three minute mark in the half. Hammond is still in that two three zone. Here's a long bomb by Ray. It's around and off the rebound by Dalton inside. Oh, that pass quickly. And here come the Broncos. Keller corrects to make that McNutt, and he's fouled out front. That foul will be on Aaron Gallant. Bangor has some interesting sneakers. The entire outside is white except for a little red trim, and the entire inside is red. I haven't seen that before. Almost makes it look like from some angles they have two different color shoes on. Each player, that is. Here's the free throw. That's no good. So, so Tony will get another one. Second one is good. So the last three players for the Broncos have made only one for two. And it's 29-23. Bangor on top. Ray, top of the key, left side for Dow. Now they work the right side for Heath. Back to Ray, left side to Dow. Pass down low, in traffic, almost lost, put up, block. Hamden comes away with it. Keller, right side, long three on the way is short by Tunney, and the rebound comes up deep to Dalton to the foul line. 
Passes back out of whistle underneath, and watch this. I bet it's another charge on Dalton. It is. That's the sign right there, Chris, of a well-coached team. When you drive into the lane, you, if, as a coach, you want one of your players to step up and take the charge, and that's the second time in a row that Dalton is trying to go through that lane on the dribble, and a Bangor Ram has stepped in and drawn the charge. So Dalton picks up his second foul and is taken from the ball game. Rams with a basketball leading by six. Heath from the right wing, no good. The rebound out deep to Hamden. Meehan with it. Right side to, and a foul and a push off. Another offensive foul, the third in a row by the Broncos. As Keller was guilty of pushing off. Clayton Tunney second. Hamden starting to catch up in the foul category. Seven team fouls for Hamden. Of course, the Bangor is over the two shot limit at 10. Ray on the left wing in the bucket to Kevin Flynn. Turnaround is short, an air ball. And Hamden comes away with it. Long down court pass for me and is tipped out of bounds. And it belongs to Bangor. Ray will walk it up for the Rams. Heath to Flynn. Swing it out top to Ray. Back to Heath. He'll shoot from three-point land. It's good. Heath finally landed one. He was eager to pull the trigger earlier. 32-23 back to a nine-point lead. A minute and a half to go in the half. McNutt side of the key. Here's a three on the way and no good by me and the weak side rebound to Bangor. Here they come on the outlet pass. Long down court pass is tipped out of bounds. It belongs to Bangor. Inbound. The Rams have it. Ray. Right side to Dow. He's standing on the right wing. Now to Ray. Bangor content to pull the Hamden zone out a little bit. And working the perimeter right now. Bangor may be looking for one shot. Here's Ray now. Goes down the lane. The shot is around and in and a foul. So it's back to 11 now, 34-23. Another sign of good coaching on the part of Roger Reed. His team was not hitting from the outside, so he decides to pull the offense out and bring the defense with it. That opens up the lane for the drive by Ray. And it converts on the three-pointer the old-fashioned way, and it's a 12-point lead for Bangor, the biggest of the ball game for the Rams. And that's double digits for Zach Ray. 40 seconds to go in the half. Pressure by the Rams. Here's McNutt in the corner for Meehan. Back to McNutt. Looks inside, gets the Moran, is tipped and stolen by Bangor, 26 seconds to go. Alley oop back door, put up and in by Flynn on the nice pass from Zach Ray. And it's a 14 point lead now for the Rams here as they close out the half. Ray running this offense to perfection. Moran with 10 seconds to go, bounce pass kicked out of bounds, with 7.7 .7 remaining. Inbounds, it comes to Keller. Five seconds to go. Shoots from the side of the key. No good. Rebound tipped out of bounds with two-tenths of a second to go, and it's a Bangor basketball. Now the ball is just thrown away inbounds, and that's the end of the first half. Your score is Bangor 37 and Hamden 23. We'll be back for our halftime show right after these messages.
for halftime here at Hampton Academy. And after one half of play, it's 37-23. The visiting Rams on top. Rob Flynn chipped in four for Bangor. Matt Cassidy had two. West Day, the transfer out of John Bat, had one three. Zach Ray, the high scorer for Bangor, had ten. Nick Acorn had three. Kevin Flynn had four. Jordan Heath had three. He really liked to pull the trigger during that first half, and he only got one at the end. Yep. Had three. Uh, Josh Heath had four, and... Uh, excuse me, P.J. Dow had four, and Aaron Galan had four for the home team, Handon Academy Broncos. Coming up with six was Kyle Daunton, and Jordan Cook, the freshman, had uh, eight points and a couple blocks in that first half. Pretty impressive. Uh, Pat Moran had two, Ben Keller had two, and Josh McNutt had one, and Clayton Tunney had four, and those were all from the foul line. He was one bright spot from the foul line, four for six, as they had some trouble from the stripe. Well, if Hamden had done better from the foul line, they would be a lot closer in this basketball game, a 14-point margin right now. It's also been uh, contrasting styles in this first half. The Hamden Academy sh shooting pretty much from in the paint, trying to get the ball down low to Dalton and Cook. Bangor, on the other hand, has pretty much decided to stay outside and bomb the three, and uh, they've been hot and cold, but when they're hot, they're really hot, and they have jumped out to a 14-point lead here at Hamden at halftime. Once again, your score at halftime is Bangor 37 and Hamden 23. We'll be back for more of our halftime talk right after this message. Slow payments. If your life has ended up in bad credit, stop. Call toll-free Linehan's Credit Now Hotline. Get quick approval, payments that make sense, reliable vehicles with warranties. Leave bad credit behind you forever. Call now. Phone lines answer 24 hours a day. You're approved. Your credit will not be denied. Call Linehan's Credit Now. We'd like to thank uh, a dear friend of ours from WHCF, especially Phil Robinson of Maine Signs. They're located at... 499 Hammond Street in Van Grove. These beautiful banners you see of our Interscholastic Sports Network were produced by Maine Signs, and uh, they have uh, tremendous computer programs. If you have anything, letterhead or whatever you have, uh, especially if it's on computer, take it over to them, and they'll give you and make an exact copy of it and put it on a banner for you. It's just tremendous, and uh, we want to thank Maine Signs, Bill Robinson, 499 Hammond Street in Bangor for giving us the uh, banners for our Interscholastic Sports Network. Our next broadcast will be Monday, December 16th. That's next Monday, a girls game, Herman at Orono. Game time live on WHCF, 88.5 FM, 7 p.m. And it'll be rebroadcast on WBGR and tape delay 10 o'clock on Monday evening. So that's a simulcast on Monday. Then on uh, WHMX 105.7, their first broadcast of the season. On Wednesday the 18th, it's Matanaka at Piscataqua Community High School in Guilford. Game time is 7 o'clock, a live broadcast on WHMX. Then next Thursday night, the 19th, Brewer Boys will play here at Hamden. That's a WBGR television-only game, take delayed. It will air at 10 o'clock next Thursday night. And on Friday, the following night, Brewer and Hamden girls will go at it. That's a simulcast from Hampton Academy. 7 o'clock game time live on WHCF, 88.5 FM. And a rebroadcast at 10 o'clock, tape delay on WBGR, channel 33 UHF, channel 9 on Adelphia here in the Bangor area. Both teams are coming back on the floor. How was the foul situation in that first half, Chris? Not too bad. Uh, Bangor, you would think, who uh, had a ton of fouls, but they spread it out. Only uh, Flynn Day and Galan all have two. There, everybody else who fouled had only one. Cassidy, Zach Ray, Nick Acorn, Jordan Heath. Tyler Weymouth and P.J. Dow all picking up one. Rams have it to start this third period. It's stolen by Dalton up front. He'll race the other way and now re-stolen by Acorn and a foul in backcourt on Dalton and that will be his third. First guy tonight who you can say is in real foul trouble and that's his first defensive foul of the night. And he picked the other two up in a hurry in the last couple of minutes of the first half. He has three. Jordan Cook has two and uh, Tunney has two for the Broncos. Rams with a basketball. Flynn in the corner. Out top now to Ray. Right side. Good ball movement. Shot taken. The rattles in and out. And the rebound away to Bangor. Here's Ray to the foul line. Passes down low and out of bounds. 
as Cassidy didn't see it coming. So right now the Broncos need some instant offense. They need it down low and they need it out of Paul Cook and Kyle Dalton. Correction makes that to George Cook. Paul's his dad. He has my first slip of the night. Here comes Sheehan who's back in there for the Broncos. Right side to Keller. In low for Cook. In traffic. Cross court to Sheehan. He'll shoot from the side of the key. It's no good. And the rebound to Bangor. So both teams start a little cold here in this third period. Long backdoor pass down low underneath. A whistle and a foul underneath as Flynn was free. And that foul will be on Hamden. That's the uh, second foul on Moran. And we've got a timeout on the floor called by Hamden with seven minutes remaining here in this third period and Bangor holding a 37 to 23 lead. Hamden did. They trailed by uh, eight at the end of the first period, 22-14. Cut it back to two before the Rams got hot from the outside again and have extended that lead to 37 to 23. And really, if uh, Hamden hit just some of their foul shots in that first half, this game would be probably a six or seven point margin right now than the 14 that it currently is. So at the line is Rob Flynn, and he'll have two shots. First one is off the back of the iron. It's only the second uh, free throw that uh, Bangor's taken tonight. Here's the second, and he hits that one. So a 15-point lead. It's a full court pressure by Bangor. Shannon will bring it up. Right side to Dalton. Down low for Cook in traffic. Wants to shoot. Gets it outside now to Keller. And off to Dalton. Bangor in that man-to-man. -man. They play solid defense. They're a solid basketball team, and they're very well coached. Dalton to the corner. Out to Moran, and he walked with a basketball. So Ray will bring it up. And a fire from the top of the key. It's no good. The rebound to Dalton. He'll bring it to the top of the key. Goes in the lane. Passes down low. Cook with the 10-footer from the baseline is good. Hey, when he shoots, he doesn't miss. I don't think he has missed yet. I think he's, what, four for four? Yeah, somewhere around there. Ten points for him. Five for five, then. Yeah, I don't think he's missed. Here's a shot from the baseline. Is short by Flynn. The rebound inside to Hamden. It's knocked out of bounds, and it belongs to Hamden. So the Broncos will bring it up. Shannon to the timeline. Bounce pass right side for Keller. He'll shoot the 15-footer, and it's good. 38-27, to 27, now back to 11. Ray off to Day. He'll fire from downtown. It's batted away, and Bangor gets the rebound. Ray will run the offense one more time. Day, top of the key. Right side, Acorn. He'll fire a three. It's a round and out. The rebound inside. Battle for Taken by Ray. Tip up no good. A scramble for it. It's booted around, and Bangor gets it back again. Ray with a 30-footer. It's good. He was he was a long way outside that arc. Quite should be four points. Back to 14 now. Dalton in traffic. Passes outside. The shot is taken and good by Keller. Keller's starting to wake up. He's got six points now. 41-29. We're under five minutes to go in the third. Long bomb from outside is no good by Ray. The rebound away to Hamden down low. That's Ken Mayo in the ball game for the first time for Hamden. And they'll bring it up. Shannon. Backdoor pass down low for Keller in traffic. And he puts it up. No good. And he's fouled on the drive.
field. The foul was on. That was on uh, Matt Cassidy for Bangor. That's his second. Free throw is around and in by Keller. And when you're behind, you have to really make your free throws and play good defense. Sure, welcome sight for the Broncos. A made free throw. Here's the second. That's good. 41 to 31. It's back to 10. And the Rams bring it up. Day to Ray. Back to Day. He'll spot up for a three. It's good. 44-31. Back to 13 now for the Rams. Some full court pressure by Bangor. Here comes Dalton. He'll fire a long three. It's no good. The rebound inside by Bangor. Long down court pass for Day underneath. Puts it up off the glass, in and out, and the rebound away to Hamden. Here they come the other way. Dalton to the left side in the corner. Dribbles into the key, goes down the lane, passes it off, and is stolen. Ray picks it up, down to Day, right side. He'll take the 10-footer, and good. And boy, these Rams can really shoot when they get open. And it's back to 15 at 46-31, 3.40 to go in the third. Day coming alive, five quick ones. Shannon with the basketball. Right side to Mayo. Into the corner and a whistle and a foul on the drive. No, he stepped it about. <laughs> Substitutions for the Rams. We'll pick them up as we go along. P.J. Dow is back in the ball game. Also Jordan Heath. Heath has it on the right side. Out to Ray. Back to Heath. He's open for the three. He'll airball it. Up and no good. And the rebound away to Hamden. And a whistle. And it's knocked to the bounds. So it belongs to Hamden. Pressure now by Bangor. Full court. Token pressure. But pressure nonetheless. Keeps Hamden out of their offense. Here's Cook. Right side to Tunney. Down low. Turnaround is around and off. The rebound battle for him. gets it back. Here's Cook from the left baseline. It's no good. And the rebound to Bangor. Finally missed one. And here come the Rams. And uh, Goliath is called for a double dribble. 2.47 to go in the third. Ball game moving right along before a, uh, I would say, a mediocre crowd tonight here at Hamden Academy. Tunney to the foul line. Bounce pass right side. Here goes the three-pointer. Off, no good by Keller. And a whistle underneath and a foul. The foul was on Dow. Hamley gets it in. Keller with a running one-hander is good. Keller stepping up eight points here in the third quarter. 46-33. Rams lead by 13. Ball inside. Almost lost. Bangor gets it back. Boss pass down low for Flynn. Is blocked by Cook, but a foul underneath. So that fouls on Jordan Heath. That's his third. With Jordan Cook. Jordan Cook, rather. You're right. Thank you. Free throw is an air ball thrown up there by number 44, Kevin Flynn. Second one on the way and no good. The rebound inside taken by Cook. Keller for Hamden. Out top to McNutt in the corner. They work it up front back to McNutt again. He'll shoot from the side of the key. It's off the mark. The rebound inside to Bangor. They have a very small team in there right now. Long down cut pass to Glant put up and in. 48-33 back to 15. Here's Cook off to McNutt. 
Now to Keller, and he walked with a basketball. The Bango with an opportunity here to take their biggest lead of the ball game with a minute 35 to go in the third. Ray out top, left side to Gallant. To Ray, back to Gallant. He'll fire a three. That's good. Didn't look like it was going to make it from here, but it did. And it's now an 18-point lead for the Rams at 51 to 33. Offense for Bangor is coming from all over the place, third quarter. And most of it from outside the stripe. Here's a steal by Bangor. It's two on two. Pass on the right side, Gallant to the glass, up and in, and the Rams lead by 20. A minute to go here in the third. And now a whistle in backcourt and a foul on Bangor. I don't know, Roger always seems to estimate or underestimate his team on purpose, like he doesn't have anything, and he's always got something. He's a good coach, they're well coached, they execute, they have great fundamentals, they can shoot. They're usually not as big as some of the other teams, but they play good position underneath. They just do a lot of things well and a lot of things right. Here's Keller to the corner. He'll take the fall away. It's around and out. Cook with a rebound, no good, but a foul underneath. So will they say that he was in the act of shooting? Apparently there is some discussion. And apparently they say no. The officials say he uh, just was rebounding the ball. The Hamlet looks to put it in play. Inside for Moran, up off the backboard and in. 53-35, 45 seconds to go. In front court is Gallant. He'll t alone, he'll take the three, it is good! I don't know how many threes Bangor has today, but they have more threes than twos, I'll bet you. And it's 56 to 35, 30 seconds to go in the third. Gallant had a 10-point third quarter. Off the bench. And now Hamden throws it away. Hamden's starting to break down. Zach Ray comes back in the ball game, replacing... Jordan Heath. And Bangor most likely will look for one shot. And you're right. Ten seconds to go in the period. Shot from the side is no good. The rebound inside to Flynn. He's blocked by Cook. Four seconds to go. Hamden has a chance. Bounce pass left side. McKnight goes to the backboard up and no good. And that's the end of the third period. Your score is Bangor 56 and Hamden 35. We'll be back for the final eight minutes right after this message. Basketball, Bangor holding a commanding 21-point lead. The Broncos will have it to start the period. Broncos going to score 19-12 to 12 in the third quarter. Here's the steal now by Bangor. Gallant goes the other way, drives the key, puts it up and in, and a foul. And nothing is going right for the Broncos, and everything is going right for the Rams. This is a young Bronco basketball team, and they'll be uh, a lot better come the end of the season because they have a lot of players out there with skills. Free throw is good by Gallant. They have only four seniors, a, a junior, six sophomores, and a freshman. They only had one senior who started tonight. Two sophomores, a junior, and a freshman. The freshman is uh, one of the better players on the court. Yeah, he is. Here's uh, Hamden with a basketball. McNutt has it. Now to Dalton. 
Dalton is the only senior starter. He'll shoot from the right side. It's around and off. No good. And the rebound to Bangor. Zach Ray to the foul line. Right side. Acorn with a jumper. It's good. And that's a three-pointer. And there is no end in sight for this Bronco basketball team right now. It's 62 to 35. The Rams have picked up nine triples tonight. Dalton up front being pressured by Ray. Backdoor pass is tipped out of bounds. Lost out by Bangor. So it's still a Hamden basketball. Well, most people figure that uh, that I've talked to, they think Brewer might have the best team. Nokomis will be a team to be reckoned with, and the Bangor Rams certainly will as well if this performance tonight is any indication of the kind of team they have. Has a shot no good by McNutt and a foul in the rebounding action. And Bangor and Brewer will meet up three times in the regular season this and year. And we'll have all three of them here on WBGR and the Interscholastic Sports Network. Substitutions for Bangor coming in the ball game. We'll pick up these players as we go along. 6.38 to go. Here's Keller in the corner for Hamden. Down low, McNutt is blocked, but he's fouled. The first Bangor Brewer game is January 2nd. That's Brewer at Bangor. That will be aired on WBGR on Thursday the 2nd. The uh, second Bangor Brewer game is on Tuesday, January 28th. That will be on WBGR. That's the, uh, the third meeting from the auditorium. Foul shot no good. And the final matchup is Bangor at Brewer on Friday, February 7th. That will also be on WBGR. All those game times are 10 o'clock on tape delay basis. Second one is good. 62-36. You take away the three-pointers by Bangor and have Hamden make some foul shots, and this is a very close ball game. Hamden now with a steal. They'll bring it up. Keller will put up a three. It rattles in and out. The rebound underneath taken by Mayo put up and in. Puts Mayo on the board his first two. Hamden has extended their zone. Bango's shot for the baseline is good and a foul. Shot there by Wesley Day, and that's the fourth foul on Jordan Cook. So Day at the foul line, of course, played for bats last year. Free throw is good. 65 to 38. Under six minutes remaining in the ballgame. Dalton to McNutt to Mayo. McNutt with a basketball. Right side to Dalton. Dribbles into the key. Lost it. It's on the floor. A scramble for it. Bangor picks it up. Now it's tied up again. And uh, I think it's uh, first down for Bangor. Great hustle by Hamden, though, to get the tie up. Some of these Bangor players are football players as well. I mean, if you take a look at them, I can guess who they are, even though I don't know for sure. But I wouldn't be surprised if Mr. Flynn is number 50. He's got a pretty rugged frame on him. And he has the basketball right now. Here's a shot from the side by Acorn in and out. The rebound tip. A scramble for Acorn gets it back. Off to Ray. Ray dribbles the side of the key in the lane. The running one hander off the backboard is good. There's another football player for you. Zach Ray not only quarterbacks the offense here uh, on the basketball court, but on the football field as well. 67-38, and he's a pretty good quarterback either way. Here's a pass, a whistle underneath, and a foul. Fouls on day. It's his third. Say Ray's kind of famous in the uh, Bangor area. A couple years ago in that uh, state championship game, he was the one who threw up that lob that Campbell put in. I was uh, in California then. 
Foul shot is good. Did follow the uh, Bangor area teams on the internet, though, even when I was on Guam. And uh, watched Roger win state championship after state championship. Second one, no good. 67-39. Under five to go. A long bomb is good from downtown by Acorn, and these Rams just don't miss from the three-point arc. 70 to 39. And Andy Frace, the coach of Hannah, probably just can't wait for this one to be over and get to practice and work on some fundamentals. Here's a three-pointer put up in the air by McNutt off the back of the iron, the rebound to Bangor. Fundamental number one, free throw shooting. Very true. Here's Ray at the foul line. Shot by Acorn off the glass and in. And boy, he can shoot. Roger is just loving this right now. Bangor is executing their offense to perfection. 72 to 39. Mayo. Side of the key. Cross court now to Meehan. To Keller in the corner. Goes baseline. Shot is short. Gets it back and he's fouled. Keller goes to the line. He's a senior. The free throw is no good. Second foul on Mike Prentice. Wholesale substitutions for Bangor coming in. I often call this a broadcaster's nightmare when five new players come in the ball game that haven't been on the floor before. I guess uh, we'll pick them up as we go along. We've got that's what you like to call a line change. Yes, a line change is right. We'll uh, hold it right here and take a look at our upcoming broadcast schedule, which is next week. We have four games on the schedule. On the 16th, Herman at Orono on WHCF, live at 7 o'clock. That's Monday night, the 16th. Tape delay on WBGR at 10. On Wednesday... 7 o'clock, live on WHMX, that's 105.7. Matt and Cook at PCHS in Guilford. Thursday night, it's Brewer at Hamden Boys. 10 o'clock is the tape delay airtime for WBGR for that television-only game. And then on Friday the 20th, the Brewer girls will play here at Hamden. That's a simulcast. WHCF will air it live at 7 o'clock. WBGR tape delay at 10 p.m. And then uh, four games to take you through the Christmas break. Monday the 23rd through Monday the 30th. Free throw is good by Meehan. Uh, correction, make that uh, Keller. Rams bring it up. We're halfway through this final period. Rams comfortably on top by 32. Here's a bomb from way outside. No good by Tyler Weymouth who's in the game. And we've got a whistle in backcourt. So let's see who we have in there. We have uh, Tyler Weymouth. We have uh, number 30. I didn't put him on my spotter sheet, but that is uh, Omar Conte. Keller at the line. First one's good. Also in there is Mike Prentice. And uh, let's see, 32. Well, that was Prentice. During Christmas, we'll have uh, a number of games on radio only. Monday, December 23rd, Hamden at Herman. That's a boys game. 7 o'clock, live on WHCF 88.5 FM. On Friday the 27th on WHMX at 7 o'clock, it's Dexter at Madden Cook in Lincoln. Saturday the 28th, Old Town at Herman. That's a girls matchup. That'll be live on WHCF on Saturday the 28th at 7. And on Monday the 30th, Bangor at Brewer Girls. That's a television-only game on WBGR tape delay and rebroadcast at 10 o'clock. Second one is good by Keller. Bangor running their offense. Down low to Weymouth. Turnaround is no good. The rebound inside taken by Bangor. That's Heath with the basketball. Josh Heath. Out to contact. Over to Heath. Drives in the lane. Has it blocked. 
Hamden comes away with it. Long down court pass. The other side to Keller puts it up and in. 72-44 coming down to the three minute mark. Hamden with a steal. Pass left side underneath. Meehan is blocked but fouled by Conte. About the line is Blaine Meehan. Free throw is off the iron, no good. Second one is good. 72 45, three minutes remaining in this one. Bangor will be 1 0 in the season and Hamden 0 1. Conte. Inside for Weymouth, in traffic, gets it outside now to Conte. Hamden with a little bit of man-to-man -man pressure here. They played a zone most of the game and got burned by Bangor's outside shooting. Whistle and a foul. Feeling the second on Keller. Even the third. Even some of the Hamden cheerleaders were down there yawning. <laughs> As this one has gotten away from the Broncos. Got a whistle before the ball is inbounds and a foul on Bangor. So we'll walk the distance. Going to the line is Blaine Meehan again. First one is no good. Hamden has not shot 50% from the line tonight. And I have a feeling they'll be working on that in their next practice. The second one is good. Bango with a basketball. And now a steal by Hamden. They'll come the other way. Bounce pass right side. The shot off the glass and in by Clayton Tunney. Number 40 for Bangor is Anthony DeRosa who is in the ball game. Got a whistle away from the action and a foul. So it's Weymouth, Content, DeRosa, Prentice, and Heath for Bangor. And Heath is at the line right now. Josh Heath. He'll have one and one. It's no good. The rebound to Cook. I'll let pass to Meehan quickly in the front court. To Cook in the corner. Skip pass cross court to McNutt. Takes the turnaround from the baseline. It's in and out. The rebound to Bangor. Long down court pass is tipped. It's taken by Weymouth. Down low. Turnaround by Heath is no good. Bangor gets it. It's blocked by Cook. Bangor gets it back. A minute 45 to go. Here's a oh, shot. Another one. Uh, spiked out of bounds by Cook. As uh, DeRosa dribbled in there and Cook gave him a little less to say, you know, I may only be a freshman, but that one's dead meat. Cook has looked, looked great out there tonight. Had some nice he touch on the basketball. Him. Here's a bomb from downtown in and out by Weymouth. The rebound to Hamden. McNutt up the left side. Gives it back door to me and goes down the lane. Has it blocked, but a whistle underneath and a foul with a minute 26 remaining. So Meehan back at the line for the third time in this period and makes the first one. So 
second one is good. 72-50. Bango wants to time out here as Roger Reed wants to talk to his kids. 120 remaining, a 30, a rather 22-point lead for Bangor. Bangor, I don't have their schedule right now, but uh, they will play Brewer on the 2nd of January. So that's the first big marquee matchup between the, uh, the Brewer Witches and the Bangor Rams. And I'm sure that there will be a very big crowd at all three of those ball games. Rams with a basketball. And now a whistle on the side and a foul. It'll be Bill Shannon first. At the line is DeRosa. Uh, shot is good, so now he'll get the bonus. Second one is short. The rebound battle for and taken by Hamden as we're coming down toward the one-minute mark in the ball game. McNutt back door down for Cook, takes the turnaround and hits. Has a nice, soft touch. I think Hamden will have more success if they can find a way to get him the basketball on a more consistent basis. Yeah, it doesn't shoot a lot, but when he does, you're right, he has that nice, soft touch. Reminds me of a player I saw up in Callis last year in Joe Footer. He was yeah. a big guy down the middle yeah. and had that nice, soft touch up. He rarely missed the basket. So we've got a foul, and we'll walk the other way. And Hamden will send someone to the line with 49, or rather make that 44 seconds remaining. Free throw is good by number 40, Ken Mayo. Second one is around and off. The rebound tip. Banker comes away with it. Conte for the Rams. Right side of the key. Almost lost it out of bounds. Picks it up. In traffic. In trouble. And loses it to Meehan. Up into front court to Shannon. Takes the turnaround, it's good. 73-55, 20 seconds to go in the ball game. Now it's almost stolen, it is stolen by Hamden. McNutt has it in the corner for Meehan. He wants to shoot the three, but doesn't. Gets it back out now to Mayo. He dribbles baseline, double teamed outside to Meehan. He'll put up the 10-footer, it's good. And that's the end of the ball game. Your final score is Bangor 73 and Hamden 57. And we'll be back for our post-game show and a look at tonight's scoring right after this message.